someone else. Available on iTunes and anywhere you get your better podcasts. This is the Behind the Bunkers Weekly Paintball Show. Tonight's show is brought to you by Empire Paintball, Planet Eclipse, Exalt, Air Ups Paintball Bunkers, Enola Gay Smoke Grenades, Tipman, and GI Sports. Behind the Bunker gets all their paintball gear supplied by FlagRaiders.com. Get all of your online paintball gear purchases from FlagRaiders.com. If you want to join the conversation, post your comments, and we might read them on the show. Now, let's get this nonsense started. Here's your host, Todd Ansich. All right, guys. Hello and welcome to Behind the Bunker here, episode 355 here at beautiful Kosuth Road Studios. My name is Todd Ansich. Thank you much for joining us. Uh, we are watching you guys right now live in Facebook. We have it all booted up, so if there's anything you guys want to say, say hello. Also, hit that like and share button so people can see that we are live. A couple of new technologies we're trying tonight because we are heading out. As soon as the show's done tonight, uh, the car service picks us all up, and we're heading to a paintball extravaganza. Extravaganza! So we're going to be doing a live broadcast with yeah. some of the new gear we have testing out tonight on the road Wednesday night. So watch us Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, same, same time, same place. If you're finding us on Facebook, that's where we're going to be as well. So, as I say, we are watching you guys live in the chat. Nice to see Roger Weber. Uh, Weber. And, uh, it's Weber. Sorry. <laughs> Weber. But then we have uh, Josh Zuby Zabrickus with us live in studio. Hey, good evening. And uh, I'm, ta- I'm currently taking a survey. Uh, Pims or Forty Creek? Uh, I say Pims. I don't know. What, well, a lot of Americans won't know what Forty Creek is. I don't reckon they have it. I don't think half Americans know what Pims is either. <laughs> but see, we call it Who rye. Knows what Pims is we call, call it, it rye here. They call it whiskey or bourbon. Bourbon. They're so, all whiskeys. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's his Thank choice. You, or so is, yeah. so is Scotch. Or Pims. Pims is a gin based mixed liquor. Is it gin? Liquor. Yeah, I believe like it's it. gin. So yeah. It's just swill, really. <laughs> it's swill not swill. <laughs> oh yeah, gin. Yeah, gin based. Gin. Yeah. So, all the new liquor talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we also have Joe Kimson from Flag Rivers Paintball here tonight. Hi, how are you? Talking Welcome to uh, Behind the Bunker. I'm here, pew pew. And uh, Garvin Sharma. Ouch. I'm not drinking Pims or Forty Creek, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and happy Family Day. And I extend that happy Family Day to each and every one of you tuning in because you are all a member of our extended BTV yeah. family. Thank you so much. Andrew in the live chat says, No Forty Creek in the States. You're right because it, it's manufactured in Niagara. But if you can get your hands on a bottle, um, I, I, Josh and I both kind of have been drinking whiskey for a long time or rye whatever uh one of our favorites for sure is it president's day in the u.s it is yeah. and look at the one they have now yeah um hairpiece day otherwise known and then we have matt the crypt pushing buttons in the uh, production Sorry. booth tonight yeah. all right and everything's working okay on your end so far all right so ladies and gentlemen at home let us know how the picture looks and how the sound is we're trying some new mics and some new uh new encoding programs so let us know uh, just post up in the live chat and don't forget to hit that like and share button. Who's breathing like crazy? That was Josh. <laughs> Way to breathe, no so, breath. I was doing an old man stretch. Let me know. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. Uh, about a month ago, we had our Christmas show here in the studio. And uh, because Joe and I were busy building an indoor facility, paintball facility, we didn't get a chance or I didn't get a chance to go out Christmas shopping and we went all program without doing a gift exchange. So... What I'm going to do is he I told finally his kids got the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they'll get theirs next month, I told you, damn it. So I brought I got their gifts today. I got all your gifts today, guys. I would like to hand them out. Oh. If that's okay with you guys. No, well, it's unacceptable. <laughs> is it okay if I just take this bottle of pins? Whoa. <laughs> They're not all the same, but don't open them at the same time. They're, They're wrapped. The oh my gosh. It's Christmas. It's like an unboxing. Pass pass that one over to Maddie. I didn't bring my own box. This one to Matt. Night, it's not for you, Gavin. This to Matt? No, well, one of them go to Matt. Well, <laughs> Matt's standing waiting and nobody's giving him. <laughs> There's somebody at home tuning in right now going, what the heck are they doing? Give that one to whoever. It doesn't matter. They're not actually. Sir Joseph? <laughs> All right, so for you guys listening at home on your podcast, it's. Oh, these, um, are these are striped packages. Go ahead and open your it's packages. Package time. This, this, this where it matches my behind the bunker jersey. It's like <laughs> I'm behind a, a bunker and air ups. Do I have to open it, or can I wait till next year? Uh, you can wait till next year, but All go right. ahead and open it. I'll I was going to wear my Behind the Bunker hoodie last week, and wow. then Gavin kiboshed it, and Whoa, then Joe kiboshed it today. Wow. wow. 
Okay, but that's only half of it. You have to open it up, the rest of it. Whoa. So who's responsible for this? GI was nice enough to uh, help donate uh, and get me some of these for a reasonable reason. Uh, awesome. These are TIP or sorry, T TMCs by Tipman. But I want you guys to open up the package oh, and have a little closer snap. look at what you guys are I looking got at. Something going on here. Wait, Some Nino my magazines. package, my package is all caught on my microphone cable. Yeah. Tonight's tape cutting utensil <laughs> will be this the bird Kara Kara Two Rescue. If with Seb the was here board. right now, he'd be all upset. Matt, can do I, a close up of this. Wow. He's about his right so now. Can I see as you guys can see. We have custom magazines. May I see? Behind right the bunker, out. magazines. Whoa, and that. then if you look at the front rail here. Oh, uh, the front rail. The bunker. Paintball podcast. Jeez. Jeez. What do you guys Jimmy think of those? Killers. Those are pretty neat. Spared no expense. Thank you, Todd. Those are pretty awesome. No, and I also Thanks. want to give a good shout out to Matthew Stone at Howling Ferrets. Uh, we're going to put up a link. If someone could put up his link as well in the Facebook. Matt, I see you there. If you could put up your link to your site there, I want to let uh, the guys... Um, have a chance to head on over there. Matt, come over to my so, computer while these guys are doing it. I want to show you guys uh, at home actually what you're looking at. Wow, those are pretty cool. I have a question about this. Thing. Yeah. What mod what what serial number are serial they? number are these? The, Look will the these box. take the new air through stock from yeah. tip one? Yeah. So here you go, there's mags. Twenty two eight oh five. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's Six, well anything anything about right? here's what the guys thousand. are getting. Guys are getting a TMC awesome. with two custom awesome. uh full size mags and then the filler mag as well. Boom. And then if you look right there, it says Boom. paintball podcast with a logo on it. Boom. So again, if you guys like what you see here, head on over to Howling Ferrets. Oh. And before you do that, <laughs> head to your local paintball manufacturer and get yourself a uh, Tipman TMC, just like you see hanging you know, on the wall here. Tipman TMC. Um, Those and are there pretty you go. nice. Thank you, Behind the Bunker. Thank you, GI Sports. And if you don't like the Behind the Bunker logo on your stuff, look at this. You can do something like this, too. Pick your own camo pattern uh, of your choice. and uh, You can also get all-terrain Tiger Stripe. Oh. oh. Josh doesn't like his new mags. He likes his Tiger Stripe. <laughs> now, this one is the one I've actually been playing with for a while. And it's still... Where's my bell? I'm going to have to take Mike's charge yeah. take my bell. <laughs> It's got too much paint in it now. So Wonderful. It's going to be an exciting awesome. season, Todd Rick. Are you going to use yours now on a Tuesday night? I again? will. Uh, I will that and my uh, my last year's present, the BTB <laughs> TIPX. Uh, right. So I ta Matthew Stone's posting up in the chat. We had one more present for you guys, and what we are going to do is take the stocks and actually put your name on uh. him so you had your own custom thing. But his machinery didn't work for us, but he's telling me in the chat that he may have figured out how to do the stocks. So if that's the case... Yeah, nice excuse, Matthew Stone. <laughs> <laughs> we may... You've ruined Christmas. Christmas again. We may uh, be able to do that for you. So uh, before you guys play with your socks, double check with me because maybe if Matt huh. can do it, we might send them up to him <laughs> to do it. Very cool. So what do you guys think? You I happy think with that, the Tip and TMC? Nice. Absolutely oh, yeah. happy. This is the I best Kwanzaa so. present I've ever yeah, received. Above and beyond. <laughs> yeah, it's like Happy New Year, Long, long Cheng Fat Guy. Gongbei right. Bak Choi. Gongbei Bak Choi. So all I'm hearing, like so all I'm really hearing is that all my other gifts sucked ass. They no, suck. Nice. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. I'm pretty happy with this behind the bunker hoodie. By I'm, Raza. I'm actually finally happy with the gift, so I can. Uh... <laughs> you can finally take down your one star review of the show. And I want to. I want everybody to know, if you check on eBay this evening, you will find a custom TMC. <laughs> yeah. And nothing. All yeah. right. Whatever. All right. Matt Stone says Gavin's getting poo emojis on this. <laughs> <laughs> Just like mom used to make. <laughs> this isn't pudding. <laughs> Oh, damn. Right. So, Matt, come over to my computer for a second. So, tonight, guys, we're going to be talking uh, a little bit later on the program. What is one rookie, rookie mistake that you would try to correct for a new player? And uh, you guys sent in pages and pages of great comments. Also, if there's time later in the show, we're going to talk about how to clean your paintball gear. Uh, also, we have a great uh, we have a caller coming in a little bit later on in the program from Ruthless with a new paintball product that we want to show you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll feature it on the show here first and foremost. Hmm. Also, um, what else do we have? Oh, we have uh, another topic we're talking about. We had a great custom corner video from Ivansky who sent a video in. We'll show you that. And um, a video that Eric Engler posted on his Facebook page a couple days ago. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see it. Um, guys assault the Ikea with paintball guns. Okay, I'll show you. No, great great that. video. Great video. No, but you know, I, I, you know what I did catch? Yeah. Is the douchebag that goes to break the window of the bank Syphilis? with the brick. And his buddy runs right in front of him at the same time, and he just <laughs> throws it, knocks him clean right out. It's like rolling out of the... Oh, it's awesome. Nice. 
Um, so yeah, we'll show you that a little bit later on in the show. It uh, it features some of Eric's guns. That's really why I want to show nice. it. Yeah. So tomorrow morning, as I say, at the crack of stupid, we're going to be at the air pl- at the airport flying out because the paintball extravaganza opens Stravaganza. tomorrow. Extravaganza. Um, so we're going to be heading there. And what is paintball extravaganza? One person asked last week. Uh, paintball extravaganza is an industry conference for those that work in the industry. Uh, to go and look at all the new products as well as get trained um, on, you know, checking and all kinds of great stuff. And then we're going to be broadcasting Train. live from the um, Floor. from the lobby. As you can see there, that was us a couple years ago. We're going to do the same thing this week. And uh, there is a new restaurant we're going to be trying, according to Aaron. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> looks, a, <laughs> looks a little snowed right. in. <laughs> I saw that the other That's day. That's my new I... purchase, baby! <laughs> So here's the thing. Can we make it some of that grub money? <laughs> Is that a double wide? <laughs> well, Gavin didn't get his Christmas Making present until now, forever. so he had to start a new business. <laughs> I sure did. Skip. Actually, this is more of a business. Business. It's a ice business. cream sales are going through the roof. Oh, it's the ultimate roadside <laughs> dining experience, it says on the thing. It's almost snowed out. It, it looks like it. It looks like a front for a crystal meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Why is there a mustache guy with glasses in there with a hazmat suit? For the ultimate experience. <sighs> Very good. Oh, and then yeah, uh, pa- tomorrow, Planet Eclipse guys are releasing something, something. Oh, something, yeah. something. Something, something. Looking forward to that. Uh, we'll have that all on our social media once that drops, so check that out. Also, Angler Custom is uh, putting something together for the first the first strike FSC, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Congratulations to Jake. Jake got his uh, winning patches this week and uh, hang, hung it, hanged it in his uh, man cave there. Very nice. Boom. If you guys would like to have some patches, we're going to start doing some giveaways uh, starting next week again. Are you going to take some patches with us to give away? Some uh, We should bring some tomorrow. I'm going to bring some and some stickers, I think. Stickers. Yeah. So if you see us there, uh, remember Josh likes uncomfortable touching. Brent. No, I know. Serious note, too. If you see us there... Uh, Please come say hello. Just don't stare at us from 10 feet away. Yeah, say hello. <laughs> unless, you, unless you're a girl. Awkward selfies with us in the background. <laughs> um, Brent from AirUps is releasing this. This isn't new per se. These are starting bunkers uh, for your field. But what is new, you'll okay. notice that each bunker has a wrap. One is red, one is blue to denote which one is home and away. That's a good I thought idea. that was a great idea. So when you guys are uh, giving your score sheets, you know which side of the field you guys Simple are heading towards. Exactly. Brilliant. Speaking of speedball, Las Vegas 2018 happens March 8th to 11th, so that's happening very soon. But what happens immediately is uh, the brigade program. Brigade! I <laughs> just I just put up a post uh, brigade sighting at the field today. Really? Nice. Jason Wilson was out when brigade patch. It's on our Facebook, nice. Instagram, and Facebook, pew pew. Check it out, flag underscore raiders underscore paintball. Like it. Yep. Um, on Instagram? Instagram. I just posted it. Really Sorry, cool. Todd, to derail your comment. No, that's okay. We got lots on the go here. Just want to tell, let you guys know Greg Hastings, his, his tour of duty presented by Dix. He, well, not today, but he will be here in a few months. Months, maybe. A few well, months. We can't we'll, talk about it. No, we'll know sh- something shortly. No. Also here, check out Super Game 51. Super Game. In Super Oregon. Game. Make sure you guys yeah. head on over and check that out. Also, Cousins Big Game, June 2nd and 3rd, another tour of duty location for Greg Hastings. <laughs> um, then this is new. I want to let you guys know the Command Bros. Command Bros. The Command Bros. This is the game. The big game is called Renag because they didn't give us our shirts yet. <laughs> so this is the Command Bros scenario game. Good, good scenario. March 31st and June 3rd. More information about this guy is coming yeah. very soon. We That'll won't talk about it until all these right, shirts busy. come in. We get my picture on your poster and I'll talk about it. Up. What are you holding up for? Uh, bring, it, bring your tactical bread down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding up for this Saturday, March 4th. That comes up in just a few weeks. That's right. Red, Red Dawn. Dawn. Sunday, March 4th. Or Russians. <laughs> Russians. <laughs> uh, Cubans. Uh, election fixing. <laughs> uh, and then we all talked, we always talk about shower beers. Um, Steve Sond. Steve Sond. Sent this in. He found a shirt. Nothing like a shower beer, or nothing a shower beer can't fix. That is true. So true. I thought, uh, good reference to some of our from our older true shows. That. Gavin, what do you know about this? Just to put you on the spot. 
Uh, what do I know about it, Todd? <laughs> I know a lot, damn Break it. Up the sheet. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so, that's, hey guys, squad leader, Alex Swaga. Let's go. Inform me that you guys want to know a little bit more about our annual cancer fundraising. Uh, called Shoot for a Cure. I've attached a fundraising logo, logo for paintball field that we have added in our team logo. I'd love for you guys to talk about it on the show. Hey, you asked for it, so here it comes. Here's your write-up. We have raised just over a little over $6,000 in our first year, $11,000 in our second year, and listen to this. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Joy to <laughs> the world! <laughs> over 14000 in our third year, 100% of the money raised from the raffles and donations and a percentage of all proceeds from the paintball field earnings are donated to the American Cancer Society. Last year they had a live band and all sorts of wonderful stuff and free lunch included. We encourage anybody who's been impacted by cancer, and I don't know anybody that has not, uh, to come hang, have fun, and play some paintball. Uh, the ends with the final gauntlet walk down the speedball field, and sh uh, pl shooters can pay $10 to get a full hopper, and they can shoot staff and volunteers. Uh, and all 100% of the proceeds go to the American Cancer Foundation. Oh. Nice. Wonderful work. Boom. Boom. Very good. Hey, guys, more than just swabs and pads, Exalt is a way of life. Available at your discerning retailers, field shops, and shows, tournament ready and battle proven. Now we get to see Ed from Exalt tomorrow. Ed. At Paintball Extravaganza. So we'll be able to show you guys some of the newness and, uh, and some of the good things that are coming there. And if there happens to be a Tide Pod barrel sock, Matt, I will bring one home. Now, for you. if there's <laughs> anybody in Paintball who loves uncomfortable hugs, it's Ed. Ed from Exalt. Yeah. But... Tell you a little of the story from the very beginning. You fall out of a tree, you stumble down a rocky cliff, you wade chest deep through a mosquito infested bog, then you realize you're surrounded. It's party time. You own a tip and now combined empire, JD Tipman, V Force, and you get the world's largest distributor of everything paintball, GI Sports. And what's coming is the world's largest paintball team. It's the Tipman Brigade. Brigade! Join the brigade and be part of the world's largest paintball team. Pew, pew. In all honesty, I'm actually pretty surprised at the number of people I see on Facebook and on Instagram who have joined the brigade. I'm, uh, I'm getting quite frightened. It's cult-like. <laughs> yes, Ryan um, Sexton's going to take us all down to Jonestown, make us Jonestown to give us Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's right. So. We're going to hop on yeah. a comet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wearing Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a lot to get to on the show. Matt, we're going to queue up the Evonsky video in just a second here. Um, he sent in a custom corner video. We're going to get Craig on the phone from Ruthless Paintball in just a moment. Uh, we have, again, we're going to talk about uh, how to clean your gear or how do you clean your gear. We're also going to talk about uh, what kind of rookie mistakes would you like to help uh, clean up on some of these newbies at the field. We have prices, right? We have custom... Uh, uh, custom corner. We also have your questions to get to. So, Matt, why don't we go to watch Ivanski's uh, video and we'll be right back. Hey, what up? This is Ivanski. So you're watching Behind the Bunker. We are at DK of Nations 11. And check out these awesome shields. Hey, guys. Drop hour. So, back to DK of Nations for a second year in a row. We want to help new designs for shield. We're rolling our uh, Star Wars uh, shield here, as well as I made another one for my West Coast buddies. Woo! This man right here, an incredibly talented man. Does some great work. It's awesome, awesome shoes. You can't see the details right now. They have a lot of paint. But uh, yeah, we got this Star Wars theme one right here, and we got Central Coast paint balls right here. Awesome shields. Hey, you're watching behind the bunker. Hey, if we, we weren't doing our job, they wouldn't be covered in paint. Yep. Woo! You're watching behind the bunker. Peace. Yeah. All right, welcome back, guys. Great, great to see Ivanski again, one of our correspondents from the uh, the West Coast. Thank you, sir. Uh, on the line, we have Craig, all the way from Ruthless Paintball. Craig, how are you tonight? I am well. How are you guys? Swell. Are you going to be at uh, Paintball Extravaganza tomorrow? Uh, unfortunately, not. I do have one of those really crappy day jobs, and uh, they will not let me go do paintball stuff. <laughs> Who <laughs> earns? Yeah. Work gets in the way of everything fun. So, yeah, right? so Ruthless Paintball, you guys do a lot of custom stuff, uh, jerseys, all kinds of... Now you do more than just apparel, right? So, uh, yeah, it started out with uh, John. He does uh, he did soft goods, 
And we were sitting one day at an MSXL tournament, and I was next to him, and I had a little thing running uh, called Inyo Sports with, uh, you know, I was doing custom triggers and, and more hardware stuff. And, you know, we started talking, and he's like, hey, why don't you come work with me? So uh, I joined on the Ruthless, and we started doing more hard goods. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Um, now, you. with this hard goods, you sent me some pictures here. Am, am I able to show them here? Uh, yeah. So real it's quick too late. He you, already um, showed it. So hopefully it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just not that image there, damn it. Yeah, not that one. <laughs> so um, we already did a buzzer kit, and we geared it towards the low end field uh, and and team practices. And basically, what it was was a a small box um, with two buzzers on two wired buzzers, and it allowed to run a practice to run a field. But all the feedback we got was you know, from people having bigger fields to do more of something that's better integrated. So what we did is we got a touch screen. Uh, we got a small microcontroller. We had the two buzzers that we had before and we added the new concede uh, buzzers. And basically you can run an entire NXL match, uh, X-Ball style match from uh, our, our new buzzer system. Good. And uh, like you said, it is fully touch screen. Um, it is more or less is more or less automated. Is it sensitive uh, if you rub an ice cube on it? Oh uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh. you know, we had some some regular players running it. You know, with no no well, training, it was yep. pretty easy. And um, in order to really you know break into the market, we are bringing this out at nine ninety nine. Oh, very cool. Now, is this something that will tabulate scores and everything as well? Uh, it does do scorekeeping. The only thing it does not do is uh, this version uh, doesn't do a like a running record that it can spit out a report at the end. Uh, also, it does have audio, so it does have the 10 second countdown. I, I know I sent some videos in that you guys can't play on the air, but uh, it is a you know is a fully functioning buzzer set. And the best part about it is you don't need a laptop. Very cool. Very cool. And yeah, what's is nice. what is that running there? Is that is that uh... An iPad? What is that? Um, that is a uh, that is a actually a more of an industrial display. So it is designed to be. Uh, first off, my background is I'm a controls engineer, and everything I use in there is rated to be in a factory. So it is. Uh, it's actually a resistive screen. So instead of uh, this, Ivinsky, so you're watching behind the bunker. We are at the Cave Nation. This you can. You can have gloves on, and it registers touch perfectly. Very nice. Cool. That's cool. Very cool. Some say I have the perfect touch. Can you use it for recreational <laughs> players at X Ball only, or is it is it programmable for the, you know setting for a ten minute game or a five minute countdown game? Can you use it for that app application? So um, it does have. Well, we have uh, three modes in it: a race two mode, an X Ball mode, and X Ball split deck. But the awesome part about it is, is every time you see a number on there or score for times or whatever it is, you just touch it and you can change it. So if you want to run five minutes between points, you can run five minutes between points. You want a 90-minute game time, you can have a 90-minute game time. Okay. Very cool. Cool. Very cool. I know Joe's dying to ask this, but does it have a scenario application yet? Can you do a big game? <laughs> so if, are, are you okay, Todd? I, Look at you I thinking out of the box. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah. As far as running anything like big games, uh, if there's anybody that does want an application like that, uh, I do write all the code myself. So somebody could just, you know, give me a call, send me an email, it's Craig at Ruthless Paintball Products, and we can get together and get something put down. Also, one of the things I, I did say it before was uh, all the screens are custom. So if a uh, company or a game or an event wanted their own custom splash screen when it starts up, that's all easily doable. Very cool. Very cool. All right, well, let's get a plug out. Where can people uh, get this or see more information about this? So uh, we'll be putting this up on the Ruthless Paintball Products page, uh, hopefully within the next couple of days. Uh, check the Facebook and Instagram for Ruthless Paintball Products. And uh, we're looking to start shipping in April. Uh, however, from now until we hit that ship date, we're going to be doing pre-orders, and uh, we're going to take $100 off. Very good. Nice. nice. All right. And all you have to do is mention behind the bunker and you get $101 off. 
<laughs> there we go. I'm okay with that. <laughs> there we go. Well, awesome, Craig. Thank you for being on the program, sir. I'm sorry I'm not going to see you at Extravaganza, but I'm sure we'll chat once we uh, once we once we are done there. Cool, man. All right, see you around. Awesome. Thank you for the call, sir. And guys, don't forget hit uh, up Ruthless Paintball. Uh, for more information, and also check out all their custom great stuff. Do that they, they make do. a small one that'll work with the three D printed field? Ah, oh, that we. Uh, so, so I, I don't know if you know. I designed that three D printed field also, and I do have your upgrade bunkers. Is I there nothing? <laughs> is there nothing you can't do? Ruthless paintball. <laughs> uh, well, I just I don't know if you know this too. The uh, triggers that ruthless paintball products do are my design, and it's really awesome. They're actually a. Uh, carbon fiber reinforced nylon but the internals of the trigger are uh solid carbon fiber skeleton oh cool very neat wow. so. cool well i look forward to yeah. having some new bunkers because these uh these w's are getting old and tired deflating they're deflating <laughs> now yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> i've got them on my desk i just got to get them shipped out Wonderful. very good awesome well craig we're gonna let you go and we're going to continue on with this train wreck of a show tonight but todd i do want to let you know about this bunker system Take that care. does Thanks not sir. deflate uh, it's our good friends at AirUp.com. They may probably made in the U.S. of A. They're thick, welded seams, stainless steel hardware, multiple color options, and layouts available. You know what, folks? The 2018 fields are shipping now, and including upgrade kits available. Our good friend Brent from AirUps. You can check him out on Facebook or see them at AirUps.com. Or Tinder. Or he Tinder. is one handsome fellow. And uh, if you do get an opportunity to meet him, he is a nice, nice fellow. He's also a vampire model. <laughs> He's, he sure is. Um, why don't we, oh, I guess we don't. We have time for mail time right now. You're putting me to work, Todd, and ladies and gentlemen, it is family day weekend, so I get the opportunity to rip open my sack and read some of the correspondence that you have sent in, and the first piece of mail comes to us from Steve McEwen. He wants to know, what was your first paintball experience? I vividly remember getting bunkered dead center in my back when I was 13, so what was your first paintball experience? Josh, why don't we start with you and Joe? What, uh, what, you know what? I've heard your story before, but I can't even remember what. What was the first time you went and played paintball? A uh, hockey team. That's right. I played at the old uh, Flagler Field. That's good. And how did you uh, did you survive that first day with anything interesting, or was that a? I, I've been shot a couple of times, but I, yeah, I had a riot. Yeah, absolutely. Are Last you sure? Time. It sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed it so much. I. I go. I'm on behind the bunker. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah, very tired. and it's not going to get much better. We as soon as the show's done, we've got an hour or two before the car service picks and us I up, have and then done no packing at all. So. Yeah. yeah. What are we taking? Josh. Uh, me. <laughs> bring in my behind the bunker golf shirt. I might bring my behind the bunker hoodie or my flag or what. I haven't quite decided. I was thinking my, my hoodie, my golf shirt. I got a golf shirt. Uh, one of the t-shirts. Mm. And. Uh, this is pretty, yeah, riveting. Sure <laughs> what, pretty riveting. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through my sundries list now. What's in my what's in my uh, my welcome my... to suitcase talk. <laughs> <laughs> suitcase. We yeah. can do a podcast on suitcase. Though. I we're only there for really two days. That's true. I so don't I'm much. bringing my golf shirt and I might bring my green hoodie as well because every like pretty much the entire time we're going to be there we're going to be video doing doing stuff on video. So That's I might true. bring a special shirt just to go to Jackson's. Yes. A Jackson, collared shirt? Col- a col- shirt, as Milo called a collared shirt. <laughs> collared your tuxedo t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, first time paintball. Yeah, yes. what was the first time you played? Um, you guys have all heard it, but some of these other some people, people have. This not. is at the National Survival Game and played in 1982, I believe. Holy crap! Near this is a Niagara long time ago. Falls. We had to wait three months to play because it was so busy. We got to this place. We drove 90 minutes. We got there. We had some sort of rule breathing. The guy who runs it, his truck got stuck, and we had to push it out. Anyway, I was playing. We used oil-based paintballs, Nelspot 007s, just simple safety glasses and oil-based paint. And I got shot in the face, and I had to go to the hospital and get them to wash out my eye with um, saline solution because I had paint in it. Crazy. But I was a newbie, and it's not like I got shot up, but the guys that had been playing had been playing before, and they knew how to play the game of... I guess it was war games back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd wanted to play for so, such a long time, but my parents wouldn't sign my waiver, so I had oh, to wait till I was eighteen. Story. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then when I finally turned eighteen, I was able to go play, and it was uh, 
It was good. It set this paintball world in motion for me. Well, let me me guess. Your older brother, Dion, got to play before you did. (laughs) He he did. And I was working in a club at the time. (laughs) And, uh, you know what? Uh, The owner of the paintball field kept trying to harass the owner about getting in, so they put me in charge of dealing with him. Uh, And he convinced me to come out, so I organized a group. I was working at the (laughs) Mog. My name is Gavin. (laughs) Yeah. Matt, what about you? Uh, Anyone you can plagiarize? (laughs) <laughs> All the other stories have been taken, so I'll have to use... Matt, was, Matt was a dish pig at the club. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I was a busser there. Yeah, he was. Were you really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. For those of you that may not know, Gavin and I switched stories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've had this question before, so... Um, but well played, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Eric Engler in the live chat says... Uh, oh, where'd he go here? Make sure you guys leave your blades at home. Well, unless oh, you've got packages for us to open, there's no need for us to bring our blades. About, but I ha- I did hear that there's lots of... Uh, I'm sure the kitchen has a bread knife we can use. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or a soup spoon. What are the knife laws? Uh, Where? Not for transport, but in Washington. I don't know. You, can carry, you can't wear it while obviously try to climb the fence at the White House. Can you carry it? in Washington State? Open or conceal carry? I don't think so. I don't Washington think so. District District it's actually the, the District, District of, of Columbia. Columbia. There's, yeah. only, two fe- there's only two federal districts in the United States. One of them is the District of Columbia. What's the other one? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh. What do you want me to know? Everything is pretty good. It was a pretty good question. Why don't you yeah. figure it out? Well, we need our research list. department back. <laughs> yes, we do. <sighs> Very good. All right. Well, why don't we hit another question up, Gavin, and yeah. then we'll go into one of our topics. So this comes to us from the face. Now the Instagram world's trouble one zero three zero eight five wants to know why do you guys underestimate female players like we don't know which end of the gun goes boom. No one does. I don't think that is true. Trouble. Hmm. I think Todd gets really excited that there's girls in the chat for him, but. <laughs> and Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. District of Columbia. And there Puerto are ninety four federal judicial districts. No, but including at least one district in each state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Yeah. Neat. Tucker in the chat says, no blades, no bows, leave your weapons here. But same with Matthew car- Stone says the e- same. Even carrying it around to open packages? <laughs> That's why I only bring my tiny recon. Yeah. All I'm right, and Carol Mikowski wants to know, what side of paintball do you think is the best way to expose it to the public? Scenario or tournament? Go! Um, to the public, I don't know. I, I wish we could. I wish we could showcase scenario paintball more because that's really what people think about when they think paintball. I feel, but unfortunately, tournament paintball still seems to be the easiest way to show it to people and make them understand how it all works. Yeah, because that's what we should be worried about: is what's easier. Let's go with what's correct. What's more good? Mm-hmm. You know, m- the most volume in paintball is done by walk-on groups who are going to be playing scenario paintball. Yeah, Says I who? agree. I think you have Says to the sh- statistics. Says the show. statistics of paintball. <laughs> walk-on, yes, rental players for sure, but uh, do we have breakdown numbers in terms of airball fields versus uh, uh, scenario fields? We don't. Uh, you know what? I, we, I, I had spent some time talking to a mom today that came in to the the indoor today because it's can family day here in canada so we had a bunch we did free entry free rentals you know just to get people in the building to try paintball and we we succeeded quite quite well but she 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 was quite overwhelmed she walked in and there was people obviously in coveralls and people in you know various forms of dress as well as guys f- fully decked out in there to look like a navy seal because it's part fantasy as we all know not that kind of fantasy but fantasy so I I had to explain it to her, and she still didn't get it. Then I made a parallel to what skiing is like. And if you go skiing for the first time, you'll see people standing in the ski line that have coveralls on and rental equipment. If you look to your left, there'll be some person fully decked out in the latest, you know, Burton stuff, but might not even know how to ski. So I sort of made that analogy that if you start skiing a couple times, maybe you buy your own helmet and your own goggles. Then finally she got it, and paintball is very much like that. So the comparisons between the two are there. So You know, Matthew Stone brings up a good point in the live chat right now. He's saying scenario, lots of cameras, and good editor uh, making watchable content. That's great if you're going to put something together, but live it would be nearly impossible. And then you then you got a great comment by Russ Carroll in the chat says enough vids on YouTube to show scenario play. If you go search out Hidden Hedgehog, um, Alabaster Slim, even Wolf, like any of these guys, or I'm sure there's other guys out there too that per, that do really good um, on field videos of what they're playing. Almost like a, you know. I think Greg Hastings has a great up and coming channel that does something similar. <laughs> 
So yeah, so check you know check check some of that out if you're going to share it. Try to get that in the hands because I, I like as much as I love speedball, it is not what you put out in front of people. I think you have to put that scenario style play. We might you're... well we might as well stroke his ego because he's in, in the chat form. It's like going but to a wedding. And Reaper white wine does a here. fantastic job of showing what most paintball actually is like showing up to the he's yep. got the mask on he's got the vest he's got the kilt the boots that, like yeah. he's all decked out he's in he's in that scenario type mode and he gets a lot of exposure on news and television and all that stuff and yep. i think it's great that he's out there showing people that it's not just a bunch of guys shooting gloriously expensive markers yep. a glorious quantity of paint yeah. At any given time, he does a great seconds. job. He's a great he, ambassador. I think he needs more color in his getup because black is so. He needs What's at wrong least black? so. so he needs at black? least he one. Brown. He the needs pro- at least one little square of green. Yeah. Probably about this size, <laughs> stuck somewhere on his stu- <laughs> like. Yeah. The problem so is the sl- amount of all temperature that he has to go through to keep his blacks black. Um, and also, someone very brilliant in the chat forum also brought up the fact that there's a Ty. documentary, uh, Soldiers, Soldiers of, of Paint. Paint. Yeah, a great documentary. Yeah. Uh, but I do want to say, a slight aside, uh, I was playing probably a couple hours ago, it was family day, video games, uh, PlayStation, the VR. Uh, they have a rec room, so virtual reality, and you can play paintball. Hmm. Um, and it's really? all, yeah, it's scenario based. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, so you get to play paintball-esque around the world with different people. Um, but it's it's encouraging that people are developing software and games uh, that are really catering to kids. So this is a very good first step, or at least a, a weekend, and legitimizes the sport a little bit as yeah. it brings it to people's living rooms. There's a great camera that I just noticed online. Someone someone brought it to my attention, and it was because I was watching a video and I was trying to figure out how they did it. And then then in the in the link it showed where what camera they're using. But it's a camera that records 360 degrees, has two cameras, one in the front, one in the back. And when you're editing it, somehow you can actually create a video afterwards and switch it. So he had it on the front of his gun. So it had a shot of him, you know, playing, but then he could flip it and you could see what he's shooting oh, at. Okay. So, the you know, I don't want to watch a guy's face for the entire time, sure. nor do I want to or watch where he's walking in the grass. Yeah. But I thought this video was really well done. And then when he was walking... The video was looking at the side of the trail that he was going, and he was obviously holding his gun up and did a really nice job of it um, to the point where I went and actually researched it, thinking, hey, this would be a camera i really like to buy. If you're, if you're wondering, I can't remember what, it's, what it is. It's a four-letter word. It's 499 bucks U.S. Um, someone will post it up in, in, the, in the chat. Four um, letters. Can't buy love, though. Oh. <laughs> can't buy me can't love. Can't buy me love. That's right. And Mike Goodeye wants, or Goodeye, uh, sorry. Alex Keel says it's the Arlo 360. That's it. R-Y-L-O. Thank you, Alex. Uh-oh. All right. So Mike Goodeye cool. wants to know, gentlemen, and I want you to listen to this. Oh, shit. It is, what is your bucket list yeah. game? Not field, but a big game scenario or big game. What is your bucket list game that you has to hit? I kind of want to hit West Point. I also want to hit... Um, um, no, what's... you only get one. Oh, only one? See, I haven't done D-Day either. You can't. Well, and you I can't think just I have here to go, do it. What's your one bucket list game in the name seven? I guess I was going to narrow it down to a couple and then pick one, jackass. But that's fine. I will. No, uh, <laughs> no. no cussing on. Do it the, in your no head. cussing on the TV show. Oh my goodness! What's wrong with you, gentlemen? Um, I would like to go to Camp Pendleton, or I would like to go to one of those mili- oh, mili- on military Creek. bases and play in one of their mott cities with the underground sewers. I don't necessarily need a big game. Even if there's 20 or 30 people, I think that oh, would be awesome. I just, I'm going to change my answer. In a, in a military training facility that has tunnels and stuff like that, that'd be cool. I want to go back and play one of the Shoreline events. Oh, where you jerk. You jumped they went ahead. Off it was the my turn. Yes. And, uh, Zamboni. The Zamboni. Zamboni. <laughs> hey, next thing you're going to say is you worked at a nightclub. I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I played the Zamboni game. <laughs> Going circles. Why do you guys got to be like that? Yeah, I would agree. Uh, Any of the games in, in Europe, you know, like the, some of the castles, and, you know, I'm gonna pirate yar, ship. Yar, <laughs> coming in on Zodiac, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's sort of the stuff that that bucket list game for me. Yeah, <sighs> I think that's more of a location than a game that I wanted to play, but still, that'd be cool. Location, but how cool, location, location. But how cool is that? You know, you're floating in the Adriatic Sea, which is brilliantly warm, and you get z- zamboni to the shoreline where you got to jump Stop out. Zamboni. <laughs> 
Zodiac. <laughs> okay, if it's winter and it's cold and the ice <laughs> is all scra- scratched up from the, ice skaters, the they need a Zodiac. Or we have bigger problems <laughs> than sure whether do. you're on a Zodiac or a Zamboni. <sighs> Incidentally, Zambonis are made in California and in Brantford. Neat. Brantford being in Canada, yes, Ontario, yeah. And California being in the United yeah. States of America. Although there is an Ontario yeah. in Canada, or there's an Ontario, Ontario city in California, yeah, there's an airport there. and that, and I actually, I heard that is actually named after the people that came down from Ontario to settle down there. They came yes. by plane, and they just settled by Ontario. I, I can smell that BS. <laughs> no, here. I'm serious. They came down and started some <laughs> manufacturing plants. I can't sure, remember Google. what the industry was. Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, let's go look yeah, about they made Google. Long matches. <sighs> All right. Um, what do we have left here? We have. Well, I guess okay. I don't have a bucket list. So. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. I'm just looking to make see if we need to cut mail time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what? Why don't you answer our friend? He's Joshua. gonna say no. I don't got anything. Uh, and then I will cinch up my sack after that. How about that? Uh, when I first uh, really got into paintball, I bought Action Pursuit games, and it had on the cover that the cover were blue, is jumping over the log, and there's a guy laying down on the and he's bunkering him as he's jumping over the top of the log. And that was the first time I ever saw Castle Conquest, oh. where you saw that big, huge castle, and it was just blue from top to bottom because they shot blue marbs, right? And at the time, marbs is the big thing, and all that. And I saw that. I still like it. That was always my big. I, I wanted to play that that game. Was that Castle Kay. Conquest? With Sorry to interrupt. Marbles. You had said marbs is the big is the big paint or whatever however you said it. However you said it, you pluralized two words in it and you reminded me of the guy on Letter Kenny. Um, Squirrely Dan? Is that his name? The yeah, Squirrely Dan. Yeah. So sort yourself out and let's uh <laughs> sort yourself out. For those of you that have never watched Letter Kenny, I actually introduced my wife to it about two two or three days ago. We've been watching the first uh, three or four episodes. She laughs out loud and has I have to pause it periodically because she's laughing so hard because she's crying have you, have you seen the new season where no, they're trying I to get Squirrely actually. Dan not to pluralize anything <laughs> and he's sitting there he's like going through it he's like actually sweating I, I Just, got I signed up for the first month of Crave which is free put my credit card down and we're going to try to binge watch it in under a month because we're cheap yeah. All right. Well, why don't we Get move on? Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Stop the show. The president and CEO of Angel Boom. North America just arrived the in wonderful. our uh, in our live well, chat. Hello, Sir Jamie. Hi, Jamie King. Thank we you. were just talking about him last week because we were talking about how poetry. we need to bring poetry. paintball poetry, poetry back. back. Maybe we'll see uh, Jamie King back at the field one of these days. Will be at extravaganza with his angel eyes? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I said no I last time, what but what was there? You know, I have a, a, an interesting fact to share with you. I've seen Jamie King at the rink more this year than I've actually seen him at the field. Oh, he used to like paintball. He used to be a paintballer. Yeah, I think yeah. he's still a paintballer by heart. He wants to bring in the hockey team and come out and play at the indoor. He's he was excited. wearing his old evil pants while he was at the rink. So that's oh, nice. Was he really? I think nice. he's still a paintball player at heart, yeah. So, a couple things. I've been teasing Eric Angler's video. I want to show it to you. Um, it is... Uh, Dwayne King, the more... He, he, he posted <laughs> up. He said, the, the guys at Cobalt Project it. had a really great setup here. Uh, they even had some Eric Angler guns. Um, basically, uh, I'm going to show this video to let us regroup here, guys. It's just a minute, but it's, it's a good watch. So, have a look at it, and we'll be right back. Very cool. I don't know if you guys enjoyed that, but I wouldn't did. you love to go to the... I've oh, spent yeah. too many hours in an Ikea sitting on furniture waiting for people to get their shopping done. I think we've all been there. I would love to just fade off and... Move them along with your gun and <laughs> <laughs> re-ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stay away from the meatballs, jackass. <sighs> yeah, exactly. All right. So why don't we move on, guys? Hey, by the way, Planet Eclipse. Thank you for being a sponsor on the show. Planet Eclipse is a creator 
of uh, great, incredible tournament paintball markers, soft goods, and gear. They have the winningest paintball markers in paintball right now. Um, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out some of the Planet Eclipse stuff, you should do so. You're doing yourself a disservice. Go check out your local paintball retailer and uh, put one in your hand. See what you guys think. Uh, Wolf in the chat was asking me. I actually had this question, too. What was that an advertisement for? Cobalt Project. They're a paintball place in Switzerland, I think. Yeah. It's oh. not an Ikea ad. It's If you do, uh, go cobaltpaintball.com. Just Cobalt Project. And you'll be able to see it, yeah. Or you call it Cobalt Project, you're Cobalt, right. Cobalt Project. All huh. right. Well, why don't we move on, guys? Um... Oh. There is a couple really good ones. Matt, you hit a home run with a couple of these tonight. Really? I thought they were all crap. Well, that's why you hit a home run. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see Consistent if I can dig one up. Do your worstest. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are watching at home right now, we are watching your live chat. You guys can participate at home and uh, put your bids in and see what you guys think. See if you guys can get close. Yeah, participate at home so you can die a little on the inside too. Yeah, very good. Uh, Colin in the live chat's asking about the price drop on a Milsig M617. I don't know anything about Milsig stuff, to be perfectly honest with you. I apologize, but I, I don't know anything of it. If there is... I heard rumors of it, but I didn't... I heard there was a drop because... Of the TMC. Because of the yep. TMC. Yeah. All right, first... Market share. <sighs> first uh, product up for bid. This is a custom VL Revolution. Gary says 99 cents, Bob. Pro Shot Pocket Pump Paintball Loader Hopper. Okay, so does anybody know what's wrong with this picture? It's not what it says. It's a VL loader. Mm -hmm. Is it on a dog? And they've cut it here, and they've glued a Pro Shot hopper on there. All right. Yeah, they did. And they also chopped the feed neck on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. This is an abomination. I don't even want to acknowledge this, but... I think it's pronounced blender. <laughs> yes, it's the blend tech loader. What do you guys <laughs> think? Don't breathe that in. No? no. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. From the blend tech, uh, will it blend oh, videos? Oh, yes. Yes, my mistake. Who won last time? I did. Probably Joe. Oh, let me look. Absolutely true. I'm the champion. Can we check Ready the rewind, Matt? Uh, Gavin won. Actually, that <laughs> is what his Instagram said all That's week. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what show number is it? 355? I can't say that it might be a trivia question. All right, so I'm yes. going to bid five dollars <laughs> for that, Bob. All right, Josh, what are you thinking? I'm gonna undercut Gavin at three. All right, Russ Carroll saying six dollars, Bob. Same with Chad Bateman. Uh, I like your sister, by the way. Keith Kaminsky, <laughs> forty bucks. <laughs> stupid joke. <laughs> you <laughs> laughed at it. it Why st- do you think I throw the them stupidity. out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Gavin laughs at it. I he didn't put customer rare rare. In there, that's true. Nor did he paint one. it. He should have painted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put some stripes on it. Uh, All right, um, Joe. What are you thinking? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Michael in the chat says nine ninety nine, and Tucker Danielson says I need a new food processor. <laughs> this, this will work. <laughs> this is uh, this sold for twenty dollars and fifty cents. Shut up. Huh? You know, you're rude when we play this game. You know that. <laughs> I have no tolerance for stupidity. No. This uh, segment is actually the only reason why Gavin goes to church every Sunday. I have to. <laughs> all right. So you guys and all your rules and preconceived notions about paintball. <laughs> There's paint. <laughs> Tipman Model 98 customized paintball gun. Paint. What? So it's a Model 98, guys, for those of you listening at home. <coughs> it has camouflage tape wrapped around the barrel. Hey, it is a Model 98, not a custom. Yeah, it's, yeah. So that's an older model. The tip. Oh, look at the original Tipman loader, too. Mm-hmm. And it's painted, hand painted, um, and then they wrote wrap tape in random places along the scope and sight rails. Makes and, sense. And they painted the CO two tank and the extra foregrip that looks like a can of coke. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a burl plug in it. All right, what do you guys think? This is either going to be what it is or it ain't. Wow. <laughs> I was gonna say expensive or not. Is, but it ain't. Okay, I was gonna say it's wow. gonna be a lot of money or it's gonna be really, really cheap. And then oh, Josh man. would have said, I hate it when you do that. You do that all the time. I do. I really do. <laughs> you know what? I look at the price when I look at it when I print them off in the afternoons, and then I don't look at it again until I play with you guys so that I don't I can't influence you either way. Sometimes I have to take a sneak on this, but I didn't yet on this. So what what are you thinking? So Who Joe. gets Joe gets to go first? Mm. 
right. Dwayne King wants to buy the world's most expensive Coke at fifty dollars. <laughs> Eric Engler says ninety nine dollars. He's been around at Tipman before. Keith Kaminsky sixty five and Kathy Wilson. She's a girl. Says fifty. Sarah's a girl too. One thirteen. And Jamie King's getting in this. 52. 52. Jamie, you've been out of paintball for two. Actually, that's a good bid. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie right. might have been out of paintball so long, he might actually be on par with this segment. <laughs> that's so true. All right, Garvin? I'm saying $50, Bob. 50 bucks. All the bids are... What did Josh say? Uh, what did Joe say? 127 Jeez. All bets closed. 135 Ah, 135. come on. Okay, you guys all overbid. Good. 50 bucks is overbidding? Mm. Wow, okay. Do I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> That's promising. That must be one tasty Coke. All right, real quick, go around the horn again. Gavin, what do you think? Uh, $35, Bob. Josh? 45 I was waiting for him to say 89 Joe, what do you think? Uh, 18 Okay, this sold for $49.99. Oh, what is second time around, baby. Zuby. That's not Zuby. No, Zuby. Yeah, Zuby. Zuby. $45. No, he didn't. He said 49 He said $45. So the winning was 40. Oh, 49 All right, whatever. I'm trying to argue it. 49 won. <laughs> Just give it to me, damn it. I've got nothing 40, else in life. 49 would have won it anyway. Okay, Gavin, That's this true. one's all you now. 49 99 Paintball. Oh, you. no way. <laughs> okay. Paintball used vintage camoed, comma ed camoed AGD warp feed system. Wow! Free shipping. So huh. it's the warp feed itself is hand painted, which looks like model paint, mm -hmm. and then it has Russian camouflage. German. Is it German? Yeah. What? You're right. Ger Flex German German, German camouflage sewn fabric together to cover the tube, and then it's got an old school VL on it. Huh. All right. What are you guys with, thinking? With oh, battery yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Ooh. that's worth something. See, oh, a, both of them have rare, battery doors. Rare OG. OG. Yeah, yeah both battery doors. Tough one. I'm gonna say a hundred dollars, Bob. Oh, hundred dollars, uh, Gavin. Okay, Josh, what are you thinking? I'm gonna say two hundred. Two hundred. Eric Engler says I have two of these. I hope they go for a lot. <laughs> Jamie says it looks like a CPAP machine. It looks like <laughs> mine too, Jamie <laughs> King. It's because it actually is. Do you guys have a special CPAP handshake? Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> is, that like a, is that like a CPAP ever? Yes. <laughs> All right, Sarah Angler saying seventy nine bucks. Ansel says one hundred and seventy five, and Colin one hundred and fifty. Eighty five bucks. Bob says Michael Bain. Who else has left a bid? Uh, Joe does one forty two. One forty two. Ansel says it's custom. All bids are in. We are locking it. This sold for one hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. Garvin, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you got really pained by that. You're Joseph. pissing Joe off tonight. Joe is that? really excited about that. <laughs> All right, he's not going to. Gavin's doing well with these loaders, so let's keep it up. I'm going to do this here. Two hundred pieces. I remember those things. These are Halo Hopper speed feeds. Bloody knucklers. Yeah. Knuckle shredders. These were terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. As my friend Cleveland would say, they're terrible. No, that's Charles Barkley, but that's okay. Mm. And then uh, uh, whoever designed these, he's a knucklehead. <laughs> so who gets to bid, Gavin? Oh, Gavin. That's uh, me. Knucklehead. So there's 200 pieces. 200 pieces. I'm going 50 bucks, Bob. Okay. Josh? 10 bucks. Russ Carroll says 5 bucks. Gary, the chat says one buck a piece, Bob. Still too expensive. Still yeah, $200. Tracy, eleven ninety nine. Eric Engler saying, Wolf, you're thinking of Oklahoma D-Day? Pay attention, Eric. <laughs> no, I've seen Wolf's Facebook <laughs> chats. He's thinking about MILPs. Okay. Uh, Michael saying 600 bucks, and Sarah Engler, 50 Richard Knott says 100 bucks. What are you guys thinking? Sean wants a recycling bin for the world's <laughs> smallest indoor. <laughs> $24. Okay. Everyone's bids in. Yes. Can you read the bids back again? Fifty dollars from Gavin, ten dollars yep. from Josh, and twenty-four dollars okay. from Joe. So you didn't overbid. This was fifteen dollars. Oh wow! Zuby. When eBay does things right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's a fun one. Oh, Somebody out there I spent fifteen dollars just to get a box in the mail. Wow! A pulse. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And this the is a in one piece. This is a brand new electric uh, uh, loader called Pulse, Jeez. or it could be a vintage VL90 paintball hopper. Now that, what is going for more money? It has to be that. Uh, 
Let so you have know, a pulse I, I missile? One of those. Yeah, but you have noobs on the internet, though. That's the problem. That mm. VL hopper, because you could speed feed your 10-round tubes. Well, let's look at the VL loader. <laughs> it has two lids on there. It always did. It has little, but it all, like, all the working parts are there. Yeah. Like, that's the bonus those about are those it. Bu those are those Butler Creek um, yeah. pop-up things uh, we used to use. On the pulse loader, it's brand new, but as soon as you take that thing apart, you're done. You, you're going to crack it. So you're almost better to... So I don't know. What do you guys think is more expensive? I'm saying the VL. You're thinking, sorry, the VL? Yeah. Okay. Joe or Gaz? Uh, sorry, Josh, you're next. What do you think? I, I would like to say the VL, but the internet has killed my faith. So <laughs> I'm going to say some noob out there is going to buy a used Ion and put that puppy on it right there, that pulse, and they're going to be happy to pay more money. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna say VL just for fun, just for posterity. Posterity. Okay. Uh, Michael <laughs> Bain too. says VL. Russ says the pulse. Oh, this isn't gonna be one of those. You go Ooh, same price. <laughs> no, they're not the same. I remember Kay. that. Okay, I I've listened to the podcast. I don't sound like that. <laughs> you sound exactly like that. I thought you were speaking identical. All right. So the pulse loader went for fifty bucks, and and the VL went for thirty five bucks. Oh. Still good value. Sacrilege. Yeah. How are we doing for scores? Zuby is ahead by I 10. told you it's because they lost nice. their faith in humanity. All right. Well, you know what? Since since I'll favor Zuby on this because Zuby is a big fan of these. It's 9 o'clock. Um, it's garbage night. <laughs> it's nine night o'clock on a Saturday. All right. Here we go. Paintball gun package. <laughs> I have one of these. <laughs> you sure do. Um, oh, but you have to look at it really closely oh, here. Shroud? Okay, so it's a PCS, but let's start at the very top. has a Lapco si uh, cooler, yeah, barrel cooler yeah. on it. So when you, you need, fire so you fast, needed one of those. when your hammer and the sear interact together and it just it sputters, you're going to need to cool it down. So yeah. there you go. Makes sparks. Protect your hand from the CO2 going through it. It has the adjustable forward drift. Unscrew that. And you can move it forward or back by a quarter inch for comfort. Ooh. Yes. Yep. yep. And then you have the braided line all the way down to the removable trigger handle here to make it either electric or non-electric. Oh, I, thought that was a great I idea. think Hot this one here is electric. Swap, by the way. Yes, yes, that is the electric. Right. And then you have what looks like a Spec Ops folding stock, but it's not. It's uh, just a stock. And then you have a couple of CO2 containment systems. One maybe 12 ounce, one 20. With a remote line with, with slide remote. check. Looks like there's paint already in the loader or in the hopper. Oh, and a V-Force goggle. Everything you need to play right now. All right. What are you guys thinking? Extreme oh, and it hopper. also comes with a charcoal briquette barbecue, it mm. seems, in the back. Or maybe not. All right. So what are you guys thinking here? Who gets to go first? Zuby. Zuby, what are you thinking? <laughs> Uh, 125. It, okay, it also says it's used. Uh, really? But, it, but, but, well, okay, look at it. But it doesn't say whether it works or does not work. Being it's a PCS, I thought I would at least say that. I thought that was a given. <laughs> That's true. Joe, what are you thinking? Uh, $85. Okay, Carbon? 50 bucks, Bob. 50 bucks? Okay. I'm just looking at the serial number. Yeah, no, there's still a bit there. All right, this sold today. Let's see here in the... Let's see if anybody in the chat got it. Nobody got even close in the chat. I need to sell mine. Three hundred and ninety-four dollars. <laughs> wow! Wow! Three hundred and ninety-four. That sounds like there was a bidding war going on. Wow! <laughs> They're not going to get that PCS from me. Three hundred over 90, the asking price. Three hundred ninety-three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but somebody without knowing it would look at that and assume it's a ninety-eight. Yeah. Right. Maybe we'll do this one for next week, but keep your uh, keep thinking about this one. It's a SMG sixty stripper clip. Nice S SMG oh, stri sixty cal. Yeah, it has two, two of them. So think about that one for next week. Maybe we'll save that for next week, guys. We're going to be leaving shortly, and when we do, we're going to be packing our gear, packing our studio, and we're heading to Paintball Extravaganza. Extravaganza. Set your clocks. Wednesday night, we're going to be broadcasting live from the. Uh, uh, from the show. I was going to say for the bar floor, but wherever we are, we're going to be uh, broadcasting live, so check that out. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Make sure you guys hit that like and share button. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the program tonight. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, hopefully the technology turned out. I actually asked you guys before to post up whether it, it sounded okay and looked okay, but I forgot to look back at the comments, so I'll have to go back. Does it sound okay? Does, do the new microphones sound okay? I, I don't know how they're going to sound in a bar full of people, but... Who's getting the microphone award? <laughs> microphone. <laughs> yeah, I don't microphone. know. All right, you got one minute left. Josh, how are you? Can you? Uh, thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you for inviting me yet again. And uh, I look forward to meeting some of the people that actually have guys. I know not a whole lot of people are 
um, necessarily from the chat are going to be there, but yeah. But if you are, we'll meet some few. Yeah, and we'll know. take some awkward selfies with uh, all the people that we talk about on the show all the time. For those <laughs> of you who might not necessarily know who they are. Yes. For sure. Well, and Joe Kimson for Flag Raiders Paintball. Thanks very much for having me, guys. We'll see everybody uh, Wednesday night. And look for our um, watch Flag Raiders uh, Facebook and Instagram for the latest breaking news for any updated products. Yep. Pew, pew. And Garvin Sharma from Tura Tech Industries. Yeah, wonderful to be here, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in on Family Day for us Canadians and um, Monday for everyone else. Uh, make sure you hit like and share of this program and take a look at the sponsors listed on the left-hand side of your screen and make sure you like and share and take a look at some of their good stuff as well. Oh, and thanks to Behind the Bunker and Todd for um, the Tipman TMCs. Oh. And, and Tipman. Howling Ferrets. And Howling, Howling Ferrets. Ferrets. Matthew mm-hmm. Stone for the Magnificent Mags. And speaking of how uh, Matthew Stone and Howling Ferrets, do not not broadcast from the hotel room again, Josh. Yes. <laughs> well, the hotel won't let me anymore. This is too much reverberation in the bathroom. Yes. For that, and yeah. yep. yep. there's too much water damage. All right, All right, here we go. And Matt, thank you for pushing buttons tonight. Yeah, you're very welcome. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, All right. We'll sue you, bro. And thank you to Enola Gay, the world's leading manufacturer of smoke grenades, thunder flash, airsoft, paint grenades for use in theater, film, photography, this show, and paintball. Ask for Enola Gay at your next event. You'll know which plane is ours flying into Washington by all the Enola Gay smoke coming out the back. I was yep. trying to make smoke noises. And I was making billowing with my hands. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> what, what, you think I was mixing <laughs> bread dough? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to pizza. What a pizza pie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Here comes the like, grease ball. It actually looks so like Joe on prom kids night. Free pizza? Um, thank you again to Matthew <laughs> Stone. If you guys want custom mags, we pinned the comment in the chat. So head on over to Howling Ferrets and uh, get yourself something nice. They are Thanks, awesome guys. Mags, hey, Blondie, dude. drop your laundry. We'll see you next week.